Welcome to another Matt Cook, Oregon video. Today we are in the Wallawas. And I am going up the Matterhorn and Sacagawea up here, if you can see them. And I just came down from Ice Lake, right behind me there. My wife and dog are down there camping. I'll be back there soon, hopefully. Anyways, onward. This journey starts at the Wallawa Lake Trailhead. Taking the Wallawa River Trail up to Ice Lake. We set up a base camp there, and then I attempted the two tallest Wallawa summits the next day. This area is part of the Wallawa Whitman National Forest which includes a huge mountain range with tons of summits. With me on the trip were my wife Annie and our dog Ahsoka. Ice Falls was viewable from a distance on the trail. You could also take a side trail to get closer. Throughout the trail you can see a variety of wildflowers. After about eight miles, we reached the beautiful ice lake. Good girl, you got this. You got this. <laughs> we set up camp right on the lake, keeping in mind the 100 foot distance rule to avoid contaminating the lake. Alright, good morning. I am soloing up a peak or two here. That's kind of what we're looking at. We got Matterhorn and Sacagawea. And I'm gonna try to go up Matterhorn. And if I get up there quickly, I'll walk over that ridge at the top to the right over to Sacagawea. It's a little early in the season to climb these. So there will be some unusual obstacles such as this one right in front of us. Yep, we're just going around the glacier. <sighs> I attempted the two tallest Wallawa summits alone. Taking a husky up a very hot summit is usually not a good idea. On the plus side, my wife could get a couple good footprints. shots like this from camp. That's the first obstacle out of the way. There might be more. There's going to be a fork. Where left goes to Matterhorn and right goes to Sacagawea. I did mean to start this hike earlier. Would have been nice for the heat. 
Would have been a lot cooler for the first couple hours. But I was really comfy in my bed. I'm looking around for the other trail. Don't see anything to the left, so this has to be the Matterhorn Trail. One thing that's nice is I can see my camp probably the whole way up. My camp is just right in the middle there. So it'll be pretty hard to get lost. So I'm seeing the trail goes right in to this glacier. Looks like a bunch of footprints in it. So this should be the good way. All right, more glacier travel. <laughs> There's a lot of it. I got some really nice footprints I'm following. It's always nice. Solid ground. Always nice. I'm trying to find the right way up because we're getting down to it. All right, I see a little small rock staircase in the middle there. Okay. No, I want this one. Okay, here's some real climbing. Oh, this is what it's all about. Oh, that's so bad. Probably want a couple of these views. <sighs> yep. Oh man, once you find the trail, it's so easy. Look at this nice trail. Just surrounded in mountains. All right, guys, check this out. Pretty awesome. The Matterhorn. All these ridges were the route to Sacagawea Peak. At this point, I wasn't sure exactly which one was the summit, or if I was going to make it. One of my favorite parts of the mountain experience is enjoying a nice break on the summit. It's very peaceful. But now I'm going down, <laughs> which means Every foot I take down, I'm going to have to go back up. Oh. 
Holy shit. What is that? That's a big goat. You guys see that? Oh, I see a couple of them. Yeah, they're walking away. Can you imagine if one of those things started running at you up here? Oh my god. This, that mountain goat caught me by surprise. I was not ready for that. And it was big, big white mountain goat. See a little bolt right there. I come up to this. Look at this. 100 foot deep cave down there. Holy crap, that is awesome. This has gotta be it up here. Okay, I'm glad it wasn't that big brown peak. <laughs> Could it be that big brown one still? It must be. I don't know if you can see this. Maybe I'll just put a better map over the screen, but the trail back, the other trail back, is actually right around here. The halfway point. I actually couldn't find the second trail back. Either way, I decided to attempt the Sacagawea summit. Now we're looking at a really thin ridge. The climbing wasn't really technically hard, but there were big drops on each side of the ridge. One bad slip could lead to a serious problem. feeling of reaching the summit twice in a day. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Matterhorn that we were just at is 9,826 feet. And then this one is 9,838, I believe. This is it. Tallest point in the Willows. Must be this orange rock right here. There it is. All right, time to relax for about 10 minutes. And then I gotta begin going back. How's the view around here look? Yep. About three or 4,000 feet down there. Glad we made it guys, this has been pretty awesome. There is a bit of an adventure to get back still, but I don't know if I'll film much of it. This is amazing. I 
Hello. Just coming back from the top of Sacagawea Peak there. I'm beginning my descent on all of this. Feels great to have done both the peaks. I was kind of iffy on if I was going to make it to the second one. Should be uh, pretty smooth going downhill. Can't wait to get back down and go see Amy. And so, yep, good times. Thanks for watching, people. Peace out.